Hi guys, it's Blackie and welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we're going to do another one in the Ground Pounder series. And it's one of the forgotten uses of a U.S. Army poncho. Now, I learned this trick, God, back in the 70s um, with a poncho that had so many holes in it and everything. So what I'm about to say is not something you want to do with a brand new, perfectly, you know, oh my God, I love my poncho security blanket. This is really meant for a poncho that's got some miles on it, something that's not as good as it was, you know what I mean? Yes, in emergency, it'll work, absolutely. But at the same time, this is when I got caught and I really need something, and a poncho can be made to serve, okay? So, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our poncho, and we're going to lay it out so that the snaps edge is toward us. Just like this. I'll get to this in a minute. Okay, you want the hood to the inside with the hood untied so it's not wadded up in a ball. You want it to lay flat, okay? You'll thank me for this soon enough. Take it and lay it over flat back toward the bottom end. Now you have on the side, you have a grommet, and in the very end you have a grommet, okay? Halfway between them, excuse me, between them you have four snaps, okay? Now we're going to bend it in a certain way in a moment, but first, let me get you a little bit closer. Okay, right here's what I'm talking about. Here's one of the grommets on the side. Here's a snap. Here's a snap. Here's a snap. Another snap. And then finally the last hole with the grommet. Okay? From this snap, halfway. Halfway. So figure about halfway between these two snaps. Right here is where we want to lay our or a leaf pile. Put a nice big pile of leaves right through this. Let me do that right quick. Okay, now making sure I don't have any sticks or pine cones in it, I want to lay my pine straw in here. Don't work it to the very ends quite yet. Now I'm going to take the corner, I'm going to come over go all the way to that next grommet hole, which is right here. Come all the way and I'm going to line them up. When I do, you will notice that these two grommets, these two snaps line up. I'm going to take the one on the top, fold it under, and I'm going to snap it into the one below, just like that. So take the edge, fold it under, put it into that grommet, and snap it, just like that. Sometimes they can be a little bit of pain. Back your leaves and stuff, back in there. Let me do the other side. Okay, now that I've got both ends snapped, kind of adjust your leaf debris out a little bit. And you're going to take it, pull it to you, and roll it over one time. Just like that. Now when you do, on the ends, the grommet, the snaps line up again. So you're going to take the one on the bottom, come up over to the top, and you're going to snap it. 
rolling that edge. Taking it from the bottom, roll it over, come from around, and snap. This will lock the end. It can be a little bit fiddly, get your fingers in the right place. Now you take the last piece and come over the top. You'll notice right here is that grommet. There's the other grommet. You can line them up. Put a stick through it to hold it to the ground if you're on slick ground or something. If not, take it just like that. And what you have created is a sleeping pad. It's about three inches thick what I made right here. Since the ends are rolled over and snapped together, the pine straw or the leaves isn't going to come out easy. But I've made a pad that thick and this pad is, a, is well, we turn it that way. That long. A nice thick mattress. Now today we use a big old drum liner for much the same thing and you can also remember I showed you where that grommet lines up you can take a tent stake and run through that a small stick or something to anchor it if you're worried about it sliding down a hill or whatever depending on your location. This way I've got a thick Pad. And look how springy that is. Pops right back up. I'm A, trapping a little bit of air. Trapping a fluffy thing that springs back up. So I've got a leaf tick for the night. Sideways, the poncho is about the right length. This would go from my head to a little bit below my knees when I lay on it. More than enough to cover me up. More enough to give me some padding pull it up to a base of a tree like I showed in that earlier video where I put this poncho over and then put the pack up against the tree and then use that sleeping bag liner put one of these underneath me you got a pad man you're comfortable we go to the woods to smooth it not to rough it and this is one of those forgotten little tricks on how to make a US Army poncho into something it becomes a lean-to it's rain gear. It can become an A-frame tarp. It can become several different types of tarp. It can be rolled up and stuffed into the hood and made into a pillow. It can be rolled up this way and turned into a sleeping bag. It can be used for flotation to wrap around an Alice pack and snap it up tight and everything and float across the river with it. 10,001 uses. But again, this isn't something for a brand new one because you're probably going to poke a little hole here or there is those leaves and stuff and you're laying on it and rolling your body weight and it's trapped between you and the ground so to make it last and be as durable as possible you want to pick your site location very carefully I'm going to be laying down on go ahead and pile some leaves and stuff underneath it put my leaf tick up on top of it with this leaf tick I can lay on wet ground can't I? because I've got multiple layers between me and that wet ground. And that's a very nice thick bed. Then I just put my tarp or whatever I got above me. This is where I've got some other kind of tarp. And I want to turn this into a leaf tick. Now, many of you know that in the back of my vehicle, I carry a ranger roll. This is a perfect job for a ranger roll because a ranger roll comes with a poncho liner or would be for you young guys, an emergency space blanket that can be turned into the tarp, and this poncho, which can be used as a leaf tick on the ground to insulate me from cold ground, 
or wet ground in this configuration. I can even put wet leaves in that thing and roll it up whenever I do. In fact, in the winter, excuse me, in the hot summer, I have took wet leaves out of the edge of a creek and packed them into that and laid them out and then laid somebody down on it to cool them off because that cold, wet leaves would act like laying on cold, wet ground. And I could put them in a good shade wrapped up with that on underneath them to cool their core temperature, actually act as a cooling bed in certain heats. In the wintertime, I have made up such a leaf tick and used it as insulation between me and that cold ground. Thousand and one uses. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you have, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And there'll be more videos in the Ground Pounder series coming up. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.